Hi guys, it's Andy from AH Bespoke. Just uh, my weekly update. Um, I thought I would keep you in the loop of what I've been up to um, the last week. Um, it's been a very hectic week uh, outside the workshop, so I haven't had as much time as what I would have liked to do bits and pieces. However, um, I have finally finished this. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a 46 inch handsaw. Um, I picked this up um, via uh, Gumtree um, along with a couple of others. Um, so what I'll do is, before I go any further, uh, I will show you a couple of video clips of uh, when I actually got these and I'll show you the beginning. All right, I'll get back to you soon guys. Hi guys, right. This is just a quick show of my little purchase today. Um, that is a 1.2 meter, extremely rusty um, two man saw. Um, move, sorry for the wobbly cam. I'll put those side by side so you can see. Right, I don't know if you can see the plank that's behind. That's a 1.8 metre plank of pine. Obviously, that's not what I'm trying to show you, but the saw. Uh, very heavily rusted, as is the one next to it, which is a 1.5 metre saw. Very nice. And if I bring you over to something I've already started, Sorry, I just really couldn't resist. This is a handsaw. However, it's a proper meaty handsaw. Check that bad boy out. Mm, a bit too fast. Oh, yeah. uh, it's in a bath of white vinegar at the moment, hence that now it's quick and easy how I made this bath literally if you can see under there is the battens um, they're not even screwed down to the ply plank underneath this is roofing felt waterproof roofing felt so I thought that would be a good idea just to protect my bench um, just in case it did leak for whatever reason um, it's a big plastic bag just stretched out all the way to the end. In fact, I think it's two. Yeah, it's two plastic bags. It's not even stapled. It's literally all I've done is laid it into the trough that I made with the battens, uh, laid the plastic bag in, and put the saw in and uh, the white vinegar solution, which just popped in on top. Idea being, going to leave this for 24 hours. Hopefully, it's going to soak and bubble, and start lifting some of the rust off. I've never done this before, so this is more of an experiment. So, I'm doing this one way. This with the effectively acid dip, and then this saw. I'm actually going to uh, sand down and try and. Uh, Restore this to its former glory. Now I don't know if you can see the shiny patches. Just there. Uh, I've actually tried with a little bit of a sander just to see if see what the metal was like underneath. And you can see it's quite heavily pitted. Um, but what what do you expect? The rust on it is is quite uh, severe, but it's still solid. There's no it doesn't feel like it's going to snap or anything like that, so uh, that's a good thing. Even the fittings, they, they seem fine and solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove these um, like pins because there's no point in 
cleaning the rest of the blade if I'm not going to clean the actual blade and obviously that's just riveted straight through so remove the rivet or replace the rivet uh, with some rebar that I have and I'll hammer that down show you how to do that that's quite easy and then that just feels like a like a small uh, rivet as well so I uh, do the same possibly replace this plate um, but I'll have to see see how that one cleans up because it's actually starting to peel some of the bits off there so I'll have a look see how it goes um, hopefully turn some nice wooden handles for that um, possibly even the bracket um, there's no reason why I can't make that out of wood as well um, so yeah I thought I would just show you because I know what I'm like if I don't film now I might forget and just crack on um, once I've uh, once I come back into the workshop so um, yeah I thought I'd best do this now um, just so you guys can see what what I'm doing um, this has kind of taken over from my Thor project um, I was oh, I am carving um, Thor's hammer from uh, Thor's Stormbreaker rather from oak um, and that's kind of taking a back burner when I pick these bad boys up because I've got a stack of logs that are crying out for this to be tested on so um, I need to get that done as soon as really um, get them cut up and put in my log store which I will show you um, soon okay uh, thanks guys cheers okay so I'm I'm back and this is the saw that was in the acid dip well I say acid dip it was vinegar and bicarb soda and it was if you can see that you can see the metal through it now uh, like this one if you can see the rust on that it's quite quite intense I mean it's rubbing off on my fingers um, yeah so this one it's in the acid uh, bath dip whatever you want to call it um, just over 24 hours this is the result just a wire brush that's all I've done to it taking it out and giving it a wash uh, with soapy water and then giving it an oil straight away and this I, I, I have to say I'm, I'm well pleased I'll flip it over and show you the other side the other side's actually better this was the one that was facing up this side so you can see the metal through there you can see it shining am I pleased? well why would I not be? that's amazing, that's absolutely brilliant all I need to do really because I'm happy with this I'll keep it oiled so it doesn't get any worse but all I need to do is really sharpen the teeth um, and clean the edges up here give it a nice flush clean edge there and then I would be happy to use this obviously need to make a handle um, but I would be happy to use this because um, all of this stuff will eventually come off um, if it comes off on the wood that's fine I mean such is life it's a case of uh, I'll have to deal with that when that when it comes to it and I'm sure the first couple of logs will be that way so I will use um, firewood rather than anything that I'm actually using um, but I'm, I'm over the moon with that that's absolutely brilliant you can see where I didn't quite get with the wire brush it's still a little bit but yeah Andrew uh, the chap that I bought the sauce from it's not bad is it mate uh, I'm quite pleased um, and 
as I say, you will get to see them in use. Um, I'm hoping to get all the other ones done um, sooner rather than later. Um, and I will keep you posted. Cheers, guys. Um, and uh, I'll catch you soon. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, before I go, um, I thought you'd like to see the saw, the finished product, the handle's made, the blade's been sharpened, and I mean this is really quite sharp, I've actually cut myself on it, um, because it was that sharp, um, so yeah, there you go, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video, I enjoyed certainly uh, myself making uh, the handle um, unfortunately I didn't film that I got home uh, started making and I'll be honest I made two handles I don't know if you can see that one um, it didn't work I wasn't paying attention to the grain and it, it actually snapped off where I was trying to put the uh, the blade going in here um, I wasn't paying attention when I started making and that's uh, the mistake that I've made. I've wasted a perfectly good piece of wood. However, it's kind of a nice little ornament piece so I might make it into something else um, along the line. Um, however, attempt number two, I just went with basic because I will be using this saw so it, it, it fits that it's just a standard handle. It's, it's not meant to be fancy, it's going to be used, it needs to be functional and quite frankly it's lovely and comfortable, it's just perfect to hold um, and it's quite a beast. Um, looking forward to using it, uh, as I say when I do use it and the first time that I use it I will be filming it, um, so uh, yeah hopefully you'll enjoy the comedy but obviously I'm going to try and sharpen all the other saws before I do that so we can test the saws, see which one's the best, um, if you like. But once again, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, and um, I will bring you a new video soon. Thanks so, so much, guys. Um, take care. Cheers.